Based in Irvine, California and founded in 1962, Skyworks Solutions offers semiconductor products for many industries including aerospace, automotive, military and smartphone and tablets. The company generates the majority of its revenue from the United States but also shows solid revenue in China, South Korea, and Taiwan. Depending on how you feel about diverse businesses, you may or may not like that the company operates in only one business segment. Since it reached a high of $204 per share in April 2021, the stock has declined steadily to a low of $76.16 in October 2022. One reason is that investors are worried that one of its largest customers, Apple, may switch to a new supplier. Although this is surely a concern, Skyworks owns thousands of patents and has the expertise that makes it more cost-effective for Apple to continue working with the company. A second reason is that the smartphone market is weak. However, once the market transitions further to 5G, the company should see an increase in revenue as 5G phones require more parts. Overall, revenue has grown over 11% in the last 10-year period with an additional 8.5% growth over the last 5 years. Projections show that revenue is expected to continue its growth at almost 3% over the next 3-5 to five year period. Free cash flow per share has grown almost 16% with 6 of those years demonstrating a year-over-year -year increase. Projections show per share values are expected to reach $5.87 per share over the next 3 years. The company is cash efficient with free cash flow margin showing values above the target benchmark in each year over the last decade. Although levels seem to have stabilized since 2022, values are at the lower end of the 10-year range but again, still remain at high levels. Gross, operating and net margins are higher than the target over the last decade showing the company is controlling production costs and generating profit. Investors would be wise to monitor research and development expenses since the company uses R&D as a way to maintain its competitive edge. Management allocates capital to profitable investments and projects with ROIC showing values higher than the target benchmark as well as the cost of capital over the last 10-year period. Even with high returns, values are at the lower end of the 10-year range. Similarly, the return on capital employed, ROE and ROA all show high returns over the long term. The company consistently has a reasonable debt load with the ability to pay off its debt in less than three years. Some of the values are a bit volatile but that's only because the company started utilizing debt financing in 2020. Debt to equity, equity to asset and interest coverage confirm the company has a reasonable debt load and leverage. Cash conversion cycle has become less efficient as a result of supply chain, inflation, and regulatory issues over the last several years. Values have increased since 2019 and are currently above the high of the 10-year range. Inventory, asset, and PPE turnover all confirm the company faces challenges with inventory efficiency. The stock is currently undervalued since it's trading below the free cash flow based intrinsic value of $144.48 per share. Reverse DCF growth is slightly above the sustainable growth rate but considering the high forward rate of return and return on incremental invested capital, the sustainable rate is likely higher than the listed 4%. Looking at ratio valuations, we see that overall, Charts show values at the low end of the 10-year ranges with PE and PEG ratio having values that are currently at their 10-year low. The stock price has shown a decline since the 10-year high in 2021. Overall, the price has grown almost 20% with a year-over-year -year growth in 6 of the last 10 years. Analysts show an average price target of $110.73 with a high of $160 and an average buy rating. In addition, based on the monthly and quarterly charts, there does seem to be some signs of positive change.